ladies and gentlemen. Today we are making bath salts and foot baths. So we can turn a regular bath salt that we'll be using that detoxes the body, relaxes your muscles, um, takes out all of the rad free radicals roaming around. And then you can transition that into a foot soak by spicing it up a little bit with some herbs and you know other ingredients i'll walk you through everything today we're going to be using epsom salts baking soda uh himalayan bath salts um in a three to one ratio not including the baking soda so it'll be three parts epsom salts to one part himalayan salts You can do 50-50 ratio, um, two to one, three to one, however you want to do it. Um, I make big batches, so I will be using this in pounds, not cups. You can use tablespoons if you like, if you do uh, small, small, tiny, you know, little batches, maybe one ounce cups or whatever. And you can do three tablespoons of the Epsom salts to one of the Himalayan It's your choice. But what I am going to do is I'll be using three pounds of the Epsom salt and one pound of the Himalayan bath salts. Now I don't add a lot, a lot of other ingredients to this base until it's ready to ship out or ready to be sold, uh, basically because it extends the shelf life. So if you put all of these central oils and herbs and everything its potency within I'd say six months to a year. So I suggest you do your ingredients and then you ready to use, mix up the batch that you're gonna use and then you know you're on your own, you know, you're ready to go. Body soaks and foot soaks helps to reju rejuvenate your tired, achy muscles after a long day or maybe you've had a strenuous workout or maybe you have arthritis or other achy, just achy joints, period. If you're el you know, older like me, elderly, I'll say that. And turning that into a foot soak helps to regulate the blood flow back up through the body. And it also helps to pull toxins from the body. Foot soaks also helps with foot fungus issues, sweaty feet if you, you know, have sweaty feet. Um, and by adding additional herbs and things that you can do, uh, your foot soaks and to your bath soaks as well, benefits, gives you additional benefits to your mind, your body, and your spirit. It's just a relaxing spa oasis experience. And uh, I'll also include a list of herbs and other ingredients that I use at the end here and uh or down at the bottom, or you can go on our blog and look at it as well. Now I'm making this in big batches. So I'll be starting with three pounds of my Epsom salt. Like I said, you could do three cups, three thirds of a cup or three tablespoons if you wanna make just a little bit and try it out. And then um, I'll use one pound of the Himalayan pink salt. Just gives it a more beautiful look and uh, is very beneficial in drawing out uh, toxins from the body. Okay, here's our one pound of the pink Himalayan bath crystals, or bath salts. We're gonna add that to our mix. And there's um, one other thing I like to add before I add the baking soda and that would be, um, you can do clays. I like to put red clays in there. I like Razul clay. Razul is my favorite. Um, bentonite is nice. Um, it helps to absorb some of those toxins and stuff that's in your body and pull it out. And you know what bentonite does on the hair. So it does the same thing on the body. Um, you can add, I'm not going to add it to this mix only because it's customized so if the customer wants the bentonite clay i'll add the bentonite clay i'm just telling you some of the things that you can add to your um 
basalt. Okay, just wanted to show you a couple of the clays that you can put in there. And this is just um, kale and clay, which is pretty decent to go in there. Um, you can use your red, red clay or rose clay. That's what this is. And this is pretty nice to go in as well. Gives it a pretty, pretty um, look to it as well, along with flowers and herbs and all that good stuff. Um, this is the Razul clay and this is brown. This is my favorite clay for mass. It's not drying as bentonite and it it does everything that bentonite does, it just doesn't have that drying effect on it. Um, and of course we have our bentonite clay. I have some another green clay. I just don't see it right now, but yeah, there's different kind of clays you can put in your in your um soaks just research it and find out which one you think is better for your skin or you can request us to put you know a different clay in you know whatever your desired clay in your bath so okay so I just want to show you that okay so I separated a little bit of the concoction to make a custom customized blend the customer requested in the way of herbs she wanted roses eucalyptus leaf and lavender um flowers so i put in some rose clay so i have all of that in here and then get that pretty color going Ooh, very pretty Rosebuds are in there. I don't want to mess it up too much because I want the rosebuds to stay intact. And then I would add my essential oil blend when it's ready to ship out. Um, in this case, it is. You can do, you know, a combination of blends. This is our Breathe Easy blend, and it helps you, you know, opens you up at night. She wants a spiritual blend. And that has like sandalwood, frankenmyrrh, um, lavender, patchouli, things of that nature. Um, a soothing blend would have like chamomile, um, lavender. Even it depends on what kind of soothing you need. You can do something that opens you up, like a eucalyptus or lavender. But there's different things: orange, lang lang, um, different stuff that you can add. So it's you know it's whatever you desire. But anyway, after making putting all of these things together, giving it that pretty color. Um, you can color your salts with different organic stuff. Like if you wanted the orange, you can do turmeric. Um, you can use hibiscus if you wanted a more red color. You can use the clays. That's fine, but clays don't come in a whole lot of colors if you want colored um, bath salts. Remember, it will stain or leave a ring around your tub when you're using colors so you got to be careful about that um, and that's it now if you're going to sit it on the side of your tub I suggest a nice little jar or a plastic container remember that if you got it sealed in a plastic container that plastic container can build up air and you definitely have to open it up from time to time and let that air release due to the baking soda and um that is basically it. Uh, I would say 10 to 20 drops of your essential oil in 8 ounces or 1 pound of 8 to 16 ounces of bath salts. It depends on the strength of the fragrance that you want or the strength of the essential oil that you want. Now fragrance oils, I don't really use a lot of fragrance oils in my bath salts. If you want a fragrance oil, we'll put that in a little tube on the side and you can put the fragrance in there when you receive it. Reason being, um, now if you're making it for yourself, you can put your fragrance in there and you're good to go, you know, the shelf life three to six months. That's why we don't put the fragrance in um, until shipping if you like or we send it separately. That way your life the shelf life of the bath salt is extended okay so that is it i am gonna <laughs> package this up for my customer um when we ship we ship in plastic containers not glass um what else 
that's about it. So if you guys like make your bath salts, it's so soothing, relaxing. I can't sit because I can't get up, but I do my feet and I know how I feel after my feet have been um, have soaked for a nice minute and you know I've extracted those toxins and things out of my body and for muscle aches and pains um, if you got sinus infections or colds um, this is good if you just want to relax at the end of the day um, bath salts are the excellent way to go so that's it for this video I'm going to package my customer stuff up. I'll see you guys on the next video. If you guys want to know how to make anything or y'all request a, a video, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to throw something together um, if I'm not giving you enough information. Some people just want to know how to make it and go. They don't want all of that extra extra, I've been told. So if you want more extended knowledge on any of the products, ingredients, so on and so forth, let me know I'll be happy to oblige you oh don't forget to um, like this video subscribe to this video hit that notification button so you can get more videos when they become available we'll alert you on that um, yeah that's it and I'll see you guys on the next video I wish you love light and much happiness